We at ECA look very much forward to reading the new chemical strategy and contributing to it. I think the biggest obstacles we're facing are knowledge, inconsistencies, and delays. We need to get the data uh, and we need to make it publicly available. We need to access not only the data we already have, we need to generate new data and we need to get a hold of data which we still do not have access to and make it publicly available in an open chemical data space. That in itself will generate uh, a lot of actions to innovate in the chemical sector to be able to better predict properties of chemicals, but also to seek out those chemicals that we really need and want in society in the future. We also have to be able to regulate those chemicals we don't want better using this information base, using our knowledge base. And in regulating better, there are two things we need to address. We need to make sure that when we do an assessment of a chemical, it's done consistently across all pieces of legislation. So what we understand as one substance, one assessment, we need to make sure that when we assess a chemical, we have an assessment that can be used in multiple areas of regulation so that we can do it efficiently in one go and we can do it consistently so that industry knows where we're going. They have one standard to meet that's more predictable, which promotes innovation. And then finally, we need to speed up how we're working. And the, one of the main accelerators that we see in speeding up is that we work on groups of substances rather than on individual chemicals. And when we work on a group of substances, we have to ensure that that work is also as efficient as possible. So it needs to be tailored to the concerns and it needs to be as scientific as is necessary for a regulatory decision to be made. So those are things that we hope to see in the chemical strategy, or at least we see as tools to implement any chemical strategy and look very much forward to working with Europe on implementing that strategy.